Hi, thank you for visiting my RC channel. My name is Bill and I'm an RC radio control enthusiast and I also do RC reviews. Thank you for joining me. On a lot of RC forums and in RC groups, there still seems to be a lot of confusion and questions asked about Wi-Fi FPV, particularly related to 5G Wi-Fi, like is my phone compatible with 5G Wi-Fi? So I'm going to just try and explain what this is about as simply as possible. So first of all, what is Wi-Fi FPV? Wi-Fi FPV is a radio frequency that allows transmission of information and images. And you can get 2.4 gigahertz and also 5G. And these are digital signals that communicate between devices on a frequency like your Wi-Fi on a home router and a computer. And in RC, 2.4 gigahertz is commonly used to communicate between a radio controller and a UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle. So it can be a quadcopter, drone, a RC boat, RC car, etc. And basically, Wi-Fi is a low-cost alternative to what is called 5.8 gigahertz analog, which is a completely different type of signal that requires more expensive equipment to use. So when it comes to RC, a Wi-Fi device can be a tablet or a mobile phone. And just about all tablets and phones that have Wi-Fi capability will be able to connect on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. But if it says 5G Wi-Fi, this is different. And this is not to be confused with a 5G mobile cellular network frequency or language because that is completely different to Wi-Fi altogether. So to see if your mobile device is 5G Wi-Fi compatible, the best thing to do is look at your phone specifications and you can also find your phone specifications online and a good website for this is GSM Arena here where you can just search for your mobile device and it'll bring up all the specifications. Now at the top where it says network, this is the mobile device platform that most mobile device providers use for mobile networks primarily to make phone calls and also for mobile data and this is not to be confused with Wi-Fi. To look at the Wi-Fi compatibility you have to look at the COM section in the specifications and for your mobile device to be 5G Wi-Fi compatible, it must have Wi-Fi 802.11 AC or A or C, as you can see highlighted in the green here. Now a lot of manufacturers don't specify how you can check whether your device is 5G Wi-Fi compatible and don't even stress the importance that some of the products must be compatible with 5G Wi-Fi. And if it doesn't say anything about 5G Wi-Fi, then it should be compatible with any 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi device. Now once you establish that your phone is compatible, 
you need to connect to the Wi-Fi device and I'll show you using this SJRC F11 so firstly you need to power on your UAV whatever it is and the Wi-Fi signal in most instances is broadcast from the camera itself so whether you have a camera like this or a Wi-Fi camera underneath make sure that the camera is properly connected and powered up so that it can broadcast what is called an SSID which is basically the name for the particular wireless network and then on your mobile device you need to go to your wireless settings either on an Android phone or an Apple iPhone iOS so if we look here Wi-Fi then you'll see here the SSID or the name of this is SJ GPS Pro so what connects to this first and then it confirms that it is connected and then you go to an app now an app you can download for the device it normally gives you a QR code that you can scan or you can do a search on Google Play or in the Apple iStore if you know the name and then when you go on into the device this one we have to go into here you should then see that you are connected to what is called FPV now FPV stands for first person view and it basically means as, though, as if you're sitting in the camera's position on your UAV you can see the view directly from the camera so much like sitting and being a pilot in an aircraft and you can navigate around like that this is how you connect to Wi-Fi FPV and then you get what is called 5.8 gigahertz FPV and this is completely different to Wi-Fi and this usually requires you know an expensive radio controller an FPV transmitter that broadcasts a wireless signal from a device like this and you can get it as small as this and has this 5.8 gigahertz antenna and this works on an analog signal and not a, a digital signal like Wi-Fi FPV does So you also have 2.4 gigahertz on a quadcopter drone here and here's a 2.4 gigahertz antenna and this communicates between the radio controller and the 2.4 gigahertz receiver that is inbuilt in here that you primarily use to fly your UAV and the 5.8 gigahertz normally communicates and sends a image transmission to what we call FPV goggles now this is a box type FPV goggle and this is the receiver that you can get that receives a signal and then broadcasts it to a screen on the goggles and you also get FPV goggles like this which is a smaller form factor and has a much smaller split screen on the inside and this transmits from here to this is called a diversity system where it's got two receivers 
So this is why this has got two antennas and in, can improve the reliability of the signal. And this is the main benefits of the 5.8 gigahertz frequency that you can get much better range and much better reliability than you can with Wi-Fi. Because 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi doesn't give a very good range. So the 5G Wi-Fi was introduced for better range and better reliability, but you still have limitations with Wi-Fi digital signals because if there's any interference from electrical pylons, other radio frequencies, you can lose a Wi-Fi signal quite easily. So a lot depends on the environment that you fly in using Wi-Fi FPV. And then this, as you can see, you need more expensive equipment for the more reliable 5.8 gigahertz analog FPV. So I hope this helps you and clarifies the differences of Wi-Fi FPV and 5.8 gigahertz analog FPV and also clarifies what 5G Wi-Fi is that is not to be confused with a 5G mobile cellular network protocol. And I'll also put a link in the description where you can download a version of this video without audio. So if you understand English and you can speak another language and you would like to add the audio to this and share it in your own language, please feel free to do so. Thanks for watching. So please subscribe, like, comment and share if you like my videos.